Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another review. I got a request a couple of days ago to uh, test out Trend Micro Titanium. What Trend Micro Titanium is, it's a antivirus, a cloud-based antivirus designed for netbooks. What that means is that it's designed to run very light uh, and it's also at the same time designed not to have signatures or anything on the computer. Um, it's all done through the internet. Let's check out here. See how re light it really is running. Let me close this main window here. So there's nothing to update. Everything's in real time. So there's a couple processes here. I expect some of these to go down once it does some of its uh, maintenance and upkeep because I just installed it so as you can see whatever the the trend micro uh, whatever it's doing right now it's taking care of some stuff whatever it's doing all right so that's really it there's nothing to update uh, you have a scan now button your settings button here basically show warnings web threats, everything's just like it comes from the factory and proxies. You have a little pie graph. You can see details. And that's it, really. So let's get started here. These are all fairly zero day malware. Looks like the web shield let that through. And it looks like it's trying to install. Okay, so that one got through. Let's keep going here. Okay, that one got blocked by the web shield. Now this one got blocked because it says it's confirmed this website can transmit mal malicious software. It didn't block it because it found malicious software. Uh, if you want, you can always click view this page anyway, like if I do that. You, know, you can always get around that if you need to. Okay, so that, um, whatever that was, would have installed, but because I'm on a VM, uh, it won't run. But on a normal machine, it would have ran just fine. Okay, that one also got blocked. And so did that one. Now, it's not being blocked because of what it's finding it's being blocked because of the website Okay, so there we go, finally a signature uh, that got an untreatable threat has been locked. We will restart later. Oh, I already did that one, my fault. not working.
and that one got blocked. So, okay, whatever this free fire is, let's see, whatever that is. Alright, so I'm going to restart now. Must be a screensaver, and I will be right back after the restart. Okay, so the system has restarted. I'm going to open up Trend Micro Titanium here, and I'm going to do a full scan. And I will be back after the full scan is done. Okay, so it uh, finished scanning and it found six things, which are just cookies. That's it. So, I downloaded Malwarebytes. I got that installed. And we will do a quick scan, like I always do. I'm also going to go and download Hitman Pro. I'll show you here, it's got the latest updates. There you go. I'll let that scan. The interesting thing that I found is um, the web based, the you know, the interface that blocked a lot of the uh, um, spyware, malware, also has a lot of false positives. Uh, well, at least. I came up to one really fast. If you go to the Hitman Pro website, everything works great until you try to download the program. And then it tells you that uh, Trend Micro has confirmed that it's malicious software. If you click view this page anyway, it doesn't work. That's something that they got to fix. The way I have to do it is I have to turn off Trend Micro, and then I can download. Hitman Pro. Then I can turn it back on after that's all done. It's kind of interesting that it did that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scan with Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes, and I will be back when the scan is done. See you in a second. Okay, so uh, as you can see, um, Trend Micro didn't do that well. Uh, a good amount of stuff actually snuck by. We got some uh, Riskware here, some Adware, about four of them right there, five. This is in temporary internet files. So the interesting thing is, even though it said it blocked it, it seems to me like it still got stuck in the temporary internet files folder. We got a couple of temp files here, a virus. Another one here, a couple of DLLs here. Malware, more riskware, another DLL. Temporary internet, temporary internet. There's another riskware. Some more riskware and more riskware. So about 18 things got through. So that's what Hitman Pro found, and now we'll wait for Malwarebytes to finish scanning. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning. It found one thing, and it found a registry key that got changed. Adware. So, as you can see right now at this point in time, I personally uh, wouldn't use Trend Micro on uh, my computer. Uh, not only did it not protect it, but I actually felt it slow down, even though it's made for net machines. So, that's it for this review. I'm going to render it and upload it. I got one more to do, and I'll talk to everybody later. See ya.